And we have some very innovative instruments orbiting Mars on the surface of Mars, you know, state-of-the-art technology. And we're starting to put together a much more interesting picture of what Mars is like. Mars is not the dry, arid planet that we thought of in the past. Today we're going to announce that under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars. These are dark streaks that form in late spring, grow through the summer, and then disappear by fall. They actually begin way up near the tops of this uh, hill here. Uh, and the, the, uh, they flow down over the bedrock, and when they flow out onto the fans at the bottom, that's where they stand out most distinctly. So these are the features we're talking about. Uh, this will show you a little animated GIF that, that shows you the time sequence of, of these features. So on the left is a black and white image. This is Palakir Crater, and it's all along the uh, 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 north-facing and west-facing rim of this crater. You can see the black arrows point to, to many of these on the left. On the right is this animated GIF, and it shows the sequence where they start to form in the, the uh, early summer. They grow either gradually, uh, very gradually or incrementally. Then they, then they stop growing and they fade. Then they disappear. They're gone entirely for most of the Mars year. The following Mars summer, new features appear and grow that are very similar. This means that the source of hydration or the source of molecular water in the crystal structure of the salt itself is either due to these features called RSL or some other processes that created these streaks. Our findings strongly suggest that these recurring slope lineae are formed by liquid water on present-day Mars. The spectroscopic detection of hydrated perchlorates indicates that this water is briny and not pure. When you look at Earth, uh, water is an essential ingredient in, in just about, well, not just about, everywhere we go where there's liquid water, whether it's deep in the earth or um, uh, in the arid regions, uh, we find life. This is tremendously exciting. We haven't been able to answer the question, does life exist beyond earth? But following the water is the critical element of that. We now have, I think, great opportunities to be in the right locations on Mars to thoroughly investigate that water may be an important resource for future human explorers and inhabitants of Mars and may decrease the cost and increase the resilience of human activity on the Red Planet. Looking forward, it is imperative for us to further understand the source of these water for these features as well as the amount.